Hi, I'm Evish Pyra and I'm with Kid Scoop Media. I'm here today at the White House covering the 2022 Christmas decorations and they're amazing. Look at this. Huh, there's Texas. I'm from there, Austin actually. These are the first lady's recipes from her family. It's amazing that she would even put these out here. And there's so many of them. How are kids exactly selected Um, So the first lady wanted to um, help celebrate children through the holidays. And so uh, she asked all of us to reach out to all of the teachers of the year uh, from last year. And uh, the teachers asked their students to do self-portraits. It's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Is it statewide or just from Seoul? It's uh, from all over the country. Awesome. Yeah. This particular uh, is from uh, from the state of Michigan. Uh, name is Quinn, age of nine, and I thought that was really awesome how how the student uh, did uh, their self portrait as an astronaut. So I think that one that one's really cool. I really heard that right there. I mean, their self-portraits are in the White House. They're in the White House, but yeah. regular kids, this is their house. This is the people's house. Yeah. So that's why it's so important for the First Lady to make sure that all of the American kids and children and people um, are able to see themselves uh, through all of the decor here at the White House. Okay. I mean, to think about how many presidents have been here, it's awesome. What grade are you? Are I'm you? in sixth grade. Sixth grade? Oh, wow. And you want to be like, is this what you want to do when you grow up? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So. Yeah, I'll say. Definitely. Yeah. I definitely know what you mean. I knew when I was like nine that I wanted to be a reporter, so. I just stuck with it because <laughs> I loved it. That, those are awesome questions. Did you think of those? Yeah. No way. Oh my goodness. I always try and make sure that like I write these questions down, but then obviously like they usually hand you information or whatever, like a press booklet. So it's easy because then you can cross those questions off once you read through that or once you go through the obviously here you saw. This is a really great question too because you went into the room with all the recipes, right? Yeah. Like tell me about the, the recipe room, like about all those recipes, like that's amazing. She'll say like, yeah, we had this many people help us, like they're all from their families, that kind of thing. So you could probably like, if you wanted to, you could rephrase it a little bit so it's more conversation. Right. which is good because then you're relating to the person you're asking questions about. Um, this is great the way it is. You could also say like what are your challenges or um, something like that but I like the way that you phrased that. What's it like? That's good. Obviously when you went through like and you got the info like now we know what the theme is. It's we the people but maybe yeah. say like what. what made you think of yeah exactly. Exactly. It was very nice to you, yes, oh, uh, Robert, thank you. Uh-huh, over there. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Eva, and today we're gonna interview Rodney. It's just been a, a pleasure working with and covering so many presidents. I came in on the tail end of Gerald Ford, and I went on from there. There's so many people who just can't get in here, so it's an honor. When are you going on Air Force One? <laughs> I don't think anytime soon. No, you never say that though. Don't say that. You might. You just gotta let the president know. We've gotta make sure the president knows that you're out here trying to do a story. Have you met him yet? No? It's gonna happen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, you're quite welcome. It was very nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you. Right now we are in the briefing room, and right under the briefing room is the pool. 
and President South Swing was cool. And there are stairs right behind me where you can go down. We got to sign the pool with our names and the dates, and it was really amazing, once in a lifetime thing, and it was really cool. So these are all the signatures of everybody who has been around. And let's see, where am I? I'm right here. <laughs> I think I'm right here. I'm right there. Wow. I just signed it. <laughs> I haven't signed it in a long time. So if you want to be the first one. You signed the wall, how's it been? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it feels okay, so we are about to go in the White House again and hear the First Lady talk, and I'm so excited, especially to hear her. Throughout these halls, from the shining bells to the mirror <coughs> ornaments in the grand foyer behind me, you will see your own reflection and a reminder that a request to see yourself in this house. And we are grateful to be able to welcome Americans home. And to another teacher who is here, Daria Peoples. So Daria is an elementary school art teacher and children's book author from Las Vegas, Nevada. And she illustrated the 2022 White House Holiday Guide. I just interviewed the illustrator of the White House Holiday Book and her responses were amazing and she's a teacher. Appreciate teachers, please. And it was really cool to get to meet her. Who would like to ask a question? Eva? Mm -hmm. Eva uh, Shapiro? Shapiro. Oh, pardon me. And, uh, where are you from? Uh, Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, and you are part of the Kids Scoop, Kids Scoop Media. All right. Well, welcome to the briefing room. It's great to have you. And you could, uh, you're going to Trump AP, and uh, I'll take your first question. Um, given the situation in Iran with protesting, what are we going to do, or what can we do to help? So that's an excellent question, uh, and an important question to ask, and uh, we have answered. Uh, this question multiple times here uh, at, the, at this podium, and the president uh, spoke to this uh, when he uh, was in, in, the, in the halls of the United Nations not too long ago in September, and he said, uh, we stand with the brave citizens and the brave women of Iran who right now are demonstrating to secure their basic rights, end quote. Uh, there's a lot that we can do and a lot that we are doing to support those brave uh, citizens again of Iran, those, those brave protesters. Uh, we're taking steps both on our own as the United States and also in partnership uh, with other countries uh, just around the world and including organizations like the United Nations, as I mentioned when the President first uh, made his comments about what we were seeing in Iran from the civilians. But let me just give you a couple of examples. We're using economic tools like sanctions against Iranian officials. We supported the UN Human Rights 
Council's vote to create a fact-finding mission uh, to investigate human rights abuses in Iran, uh, which, which was really historic, something that uh, we had not seen. So we are working with civil society organizations uh, to make sure Iran is removed from a United Nations body focused on women, called the UN Commission on the Status of Women. We have expressed support for the joint statement by women foreign ministers uh, on Iran. And, uh, and we are speaking out over and over uh, again and raising awareness and making sure that those brave women and citizens are, are lifted up uh, as they are really fighting for their basic rights. But thank you so much uh, for your question. I really appreciate you. And again, welcome, welcome to the briefing room. Hopefully you come back. Hi, this is Eva Shapiro from Kids Scoop Media. Today I'm in Washington, D.C. at the White House. In the morning, we got to take a tour of the second and first floor of the White House seeing all of the really cool Christmas decorations. And some of the day we've been in the briefing room. So the briefing room has a downstairs, which is the pool. And at least two presidents have swam in it and I got to sign my name on it. How cool is that? I've also gotten to see First Lady Jill Biden speak and it was incredible. Her words are very inspiring and it was amazing just to see her talk there. I am very, 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 very lucky to be here today and this has been a once in a lifetime experience for me. This is Eva Shapiro with Kids Scoop Media and I'm signing off.